Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the Excel automation series. Let's see our agenda for today. Today we are going to see an activity which is called the get workbook sheet. Next we are going to see an similar activity which we call the get workbook sheets in Excel. We are going to see what is the difference between the two activities and when should we use what activity. And both of these steps we are going to see with the help of the demonstration. First thing first, I have taken an Excel application scope and that Excel application scope is pointing to an Excel which I have point in the project directory. So this is the Excel. Now let's consider a scenario where we have to read the data from the sheet whose name is data. So it's a very easy task, right? So we can always go ahead and take a read range like this and we can just specify the sheet name as whatever sheet name. So let's say I want to just read the data from data and I can always come here and, and then I can put a right line and I'll just store the reading in a data table I'll call it DT I'll just type here DT dot rows dot count dot to string okay so what I am doing here is we have to do a task where I have to read the data from the this sheet which I call data and I am printing the count let's execute this flow the process is executed and the count is 24 okay so the excel was having 24 rows including the headers it is 25 and we were able to get the count of 24 here so that means this read range is working now let's say some fine day the input excel which we are receiving now the name has changed to something called data underscore one now if i go back to your path studio and if i try to run the flow okay now i have encountered an exception which says the sheet does not exist so that's a valid exception so how do we handle such scenarios now to handle such scenarios we have activities in UiPath which we call the get workbook sheet and the get workbook sheets activity. Let's see how do we use them. So if you see this Excel which we are using, the data which we wanted to read is always available in the first position. So what we can do is we can always go back to the studio and we can take an activity which we call get workbook sheet. So let's go to the properties of get workbook workbook sheet. So get workbook sheet expects an index of the sheet we wanted to read so as we have seen in the excel sheet the data which we wanted to read it's always available on the first sheet so how we can use this activity is i can provide here zero zero means i am going to read the first sheet similarly if i want to read the second sheet i will specify here and for the output i will create a variable which i call the sheet name okay so before that let's try to put a message box here and just print the sheet name so now expectation is when we run the flow we should get the sheet name as data underscore one save it run the file okay so we have got the first sheet name that is data underscore one okay and this is because of this exception now let's say what happens if I change it to something two so now it will return me what value this is 0 1 and 2 so now I will get the sheet 1 so I'll save the automation run the file and I have got the sheet 1 okay so this is how we use the get workbook sheet activity we have to provide the index and then correspondingly we get the sheet name now to resolve our problem so we know that our data was always available in the first sheet so instead of hard coding this sheet name here what I will pass now is the sheet name and which sheet I want to have the first sheet okay so now let's understand the flow we are telling UiPath to read this excel get the workbook sheet for the index 0 that means get me the sheet name of the first sheet so the sheet name for the first sheet is data underscore 1 now if I go ahead and change it to something else also let's say I rename it to data underscore one two three four also it won't impact my automation because I'm directly passing the sheet name for the first sheet let's try to run the file 
let's go back to the automation and you will see the 24 was printed so this is how we use the get workbook sheet so this is useful when we know the position of the sheet which wanted to read and the position and the name of the sheet might change in the future now consider a next scenario where I want to read the data from each and every sheet of the Excel so I want to read the data from data 1 1 2 3 I want to read the data from sheet 2 I want to read the data from sheet 1 also sheet 3 also sheet 4 also but what happens is I'm not sure about the sheet name so sometimes there may be five sheets sometimes there may be six sheets sometimes there may be no sheets at all and I want to get the count of the data so if I go by the existing methods so we have this read range I have to provide the read range then sheet name next I have to use one more read range and then provide the sheet name to sheet 1 then sheet 2 but what happens if someday some new sheet come or the names are different or someday there are 10 sheet 15 sheets how do we do that so for that we have one more activity in UiPath which we call get workbook sheets activity so let's see the usage of get workbook sheets now we come back to UiPath studio I go to the activity and this time I drag and drop the get workbook sheets okay let's go back to the property and we see there is only one property which is the output and it is called the sheets and if I just hover over it we will see that the out argument is the type of list of string so what does it output let's just quickly create a variable I will call it list of sheets and I go to the variable and we'll see list of sheets is a variable of type list which can hold the string data type so what will happen when this activity is executed it will give me the list of all the sheet names in the list okay so let's quickly try to execute that one I'll just put a debugger here breakpoint and let's try to debug the file let's go to locals and if I just open the list of sheets let me just extend this one so you will see there are five items in the list and I have got all the items which are available in the sheet so now let's say if I want to reach each and every sheet so how can I do that so since this is list we have to take a for each loop to iterate for each item in the list of sheets so for better understanding let's call this sheet go to the properties and this is of the type string because this is list of string so now what we can do is we can just pass this guy inside and we'll just right line the data table count and now the sheet name will be the sheet okay this one so now let's try to understand the flow so we are reading the excel we have used an activity called get workbook sheets so this will give me all the list of the sheets so I will get data sheet 2 sheet 3 everything in the list now next we are iterating the list and we are telling UiPath to reach each and every sheet and print the data count in the right line okay I'll just remove the debugger and let's try to run the file okay the process is executed let's go back to the output and you will see we have got all the count from the sheets so first one is having 24 records the next is 0 and third one is having 696 so first one is having 24 this is having 0 records this is having how many records 697 records so UiPath was successfully able to get all the data from the sheets so now let's say what is the benefit of using so if tomorrow if the sheet na name changes from to ABC let's quickly save it and I go here and run the file again Okay, the execution was completed let's go to the output and still I was able to get the all the counts after changing the sheet name so now talking about the first problem what happens if the data sheet name changes how can we retrieve so to retrieve the data from the sheet what we can do is for example we know that our sheet name consists of data so what I can do is I can always go here I can type an if statement and I can just write an expression which says sheet dot contains data so to answer the question what happens if the name changes from data to anything else so what we can do is we can retrieve all the data from the sheet 
in the list of sheet and then we can query the list of sheets that if it, it contains data then you do the certain operation if it does not contain the data go here so if I just go here and quickly take a message box and I just type the sheet name and if it is not matching I'll just type here no match okay let's try to run this flow okay first we got the sheet name next sheet 2 does not match ABC no match sheet 3 no match sheet 4 no match and likewise okay so this is how we can do the string manipulation in the list and then we can get the exact sheet name also we can write an lambda expression we can rise, write a link query on top of it to get the single file name so this is how we use the get workbook sheet and get workbook sheets for more details on the get workbook sheet and get workbook sheets we can always come to docs.uipart.com and read the official documentation i'll put the links in the description so that is all for this video if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and happy automation